If it wasn't for St. John's, I don't know where I'd be. Mm -hmm. My main thing, um, and this is why I keep coming back, because it's love here. I wouldn't have it no other way, you know. Being able to be somewhere where you can be who you are, know you got a call and know that God has called you, but you can be who you are and do what you got to do. Being in the worship and like seeing different people able to be themselves and all of that, and I came in, I'm like, I'm not gonna fit in here because I deal with this and deal with that. And um, Jim K was at the, at the door by the sanctuary. Um, Rick and um, the June was out here uh, greeting me in like they still do. Um, and I heard I heard Rick say to me, "It's going to be all right. You're going to get through this." And I said, "What do you mean by that?" He said, "Cause there's a lot of work here you could do." And I looked at myself like, "But I, I'm coming here just to visit." And I, and I had that one conversation after Pastor Vince came to pastor. And I said, you know, um, I'm not a member here yet, but I see a lot of help that needs to be helped. And he said, what you waiting on? This is my, this is my family and, you know, every day I look at, I, I give it an honor to be here, to be a part of different things that St. John's is doing, you know, LBGQ Center is doing. Um, and I just took on the task, you know, every, every fourth Friday I take on the task um, and it connects me with Jim. I bring the snacks. That's just me. I took it on. We're going to go in person. Let's eat together. And let's fellowship. And I, and I love that. And I love the fellowship Friday night dinners. Because I'm all in family and friends and fellowship. Um, people here in the, 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 the people here at the church who, who just, you know, they know they, if, if, if something I can do, they know they can count on me to do it. My memory of it is, it's love here. It's not no everyday thing that you get into a place where it's love. No matter what building they in, whatever they go to, it's love. When I came on Maywood, I walked in and I was like, when I got home, I was like, these people really love me. And then months later, they still do. And when you're not there a while, somebody will email you or call you. That's what I like about churches. They will want to know where you at. Carolina is one of the biggest. Where you been? Da, 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 da. I'm going to have somebody reach out to you. And, and that's this earth. Somebody will reach out. You know, and I'm grateful to that. You know, Mark and Rick will reach out. You don't know, see us. Sometimes Pastor Vince will reach out. People will reach out. Hey, how you doing? I just want to see how you doing. Somebody asked about you, so we send this email out. And it's, and it's great to get those. You know, Jim Mentor is one of those big ones that I see an email from him. And it's whatever. And I'm, it's great when you're not around or you're away. People ask about it. I know whatever go, whatever happens in my lifetime now that I have a place that no matter what people may think about me, these people are gonna be there to back me um, and, 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 and do everything else. I'm not gonna have to worry about too much or nothing. Um, I give my time here because I know these people care a much for me. I, already, I see that. And, and, and you can be who you are. You can do other things in your community and with people, but it's always good to have a place of safety zone. I call it a safety zone. And everything you're going on, when I play drums on Sunday, Anything I can do here to do for this, for here, I'm grateful because I know they do the same thing for me.